How to crochet the odd forked cluster stitch. For this stitch, you'll need a crochet hook and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Knit Out of the Box, for providing today's yarn. Today, we are using their machine washable merino lamb's wool in the color French blue. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques chain stitch, odd forked cluster which is a special abbreviation that we will be covering in this tutorial, and half double crochet. To begin this stitch you must create a foundation chain in multiples of any number plus two. Row one. We're going to begin by skipping the first two chains from our hook and we will do an odd forked cluster stitch into the third chain from our hook. So again, skip the first two, go into the next one. We're going to begin by yarning over and then go into the third stitch, yarn over and draw through a loop. That will give us three loops on our hook. Then we yarn over and draw through the first two. That gives us two loops on our hook. Then we're going to insert our hook into the fourth chain, which is the next chain in the row, and we'll draw through another loop. That gives us three loops again and we will yarn over and draw through all three loops. So that's our odd forked cluster stitch. We're gonna do another one of those to start our repeat, and we will do this by inserting our hook into the same chain as the previous odd forked cluster. So we're gonna go back into the last chain that we worked before, yarn over first, insert into the stitch and draw through, yarn over and draw through two, then we'll go into the next chain. Okay, make sure we're going in the right spot. We'll draw through. That gives us three loops on our hook. Then we'll yarn over and draw through all three loops at one time. So we'll repeat this sequence all the way until we reach the last chain stitch in our row. And when we reach the last stitch in our row, we're going to finish up with a half double crochet. So we'll yarn over, draw through, and we will draw through all three loops on our hook. Then we'll turn our work. Row two, we're gonna begin by chaining two. This will count as a half double crochet. Then we will do a odd forked cluster by inserting our hook into the same stitch, right here, this first stitch. So we'll yarn over, insert, draw through, yarn over and draw through two, then we're going to insert into the next stitch, draw through, and yarn over and draw through all three. All right, then we will start our repeat by doing another odd fork cluster going into the same stitch as the last of our previous odd fork cluster. Okay, yarn over and draw through, yarn over and draw through two, insert into the next, draw through, yarn over and draw through all three. So we'll repeat this sequence until we reach the last stitch in our row. And when we reach the end of our row, we will finish up with a half double crochet into our the top of our turn chain, just right there on the end. And then we will turn our work. So we're gonna repeat row two until we have reached our desired length. And that's how we crochet the odd forked cluster stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more news today? Join our VIP email list to get every stitch directly to your inbox. Sign up today at newsitoday.com slash VIP.